here's a little quick tip of the day, or I don't know, not a quick tip, but one of our Discord buddies, uh, Dan, he, he found this out, careful looking, and this is an upside down SM4, the barn find one I just got. And if you notice here, you got this crossbar right here that holds all of your springs. So every time you press a key, it, it yanks on one of these springs, and that's what gives you the force feedback of the whole action and it's connected to this bar and the bar is anchored there and it's anchored with these bolts and nuts and you can see there's it's slotted so if you really wanted to lighten this thing up if you if your sm4 sm3s are a little tight feeling let's see if we can get this on camera just crack that loose zoop and it slides open. Usually it pops. This one's pretty grungy. Usually it makes like a spring-loaded snap sound. Let's see if this side will do it. You can see here, lefty loosey. There it goes. Click. Now it's released tension on that spring. It's brought this whole bar inwards or, you know, compressed the springs a little bit more. So now these springs don't have any any tension, or they have tension, but just not as much tension and tension as it did before. And it's adjustable. You can, you know, slide it in and out of your range of however you'd like to do it. It's just a little help. That's one little tuning thing I do if, if I find the machine is a little stiff. This one's like barely used, brand new feeling, so now it'll have a nice little action to it. But all right guys, hot rod tiger, how many? That's a quick, quick speed tip of the day.